catch the leg, grab behind the neck, and then of course we left and we stick. Whoa. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're gonna go through some of Nina Williams' moves. This uh, video was requested by uh, Lester. I don't remember your full name, sorry, I don't want to try. Yeah, I'll just edit uh, your comment here. Uh, my dude, thank you for being patient for this video. I know your request had a while back. Uh, I did, man. Yeah, a lot of life happens. So yeah, we're gonna just get into it. Um, so Nina Williams' fighting style is a combination of assassin arts, whatever that means. Uh, we can assume a lot of joint locks for um, you know interrogation reasons, and then there's also some submission wrestling. Catch as catch can. Yeah, because you know catch wrestling has a huge influence on pro wrestling there in Japan, and uh, you know with the game being made by Japanese developers. You know, the influences are kind of clear. And then also some Hapkido, and that would explain the wrist locks or something. I'm not too familiar with it. But anyway, so we're gonna just go through the moves and break it down, and we're gonna put it into context. All right, cool, enjoy. Okay, cool. We're gonna do this wrist lock arm throw. Yeah, that's the first one. So, I mean, you can't really do this stuff off a punch because, I mean, people can punch quick. So, it's more of, you know, grappling. Somebody grabs you. Oh no, the most threatening thing ever. He grabbed me. Let's take the wrist. So real. Anyway, uh, the move simple. Takes it. Locks up the wrist. Comes around and. Ibrahim's just working with me here. Um, this would not really be that applicable. If other people say so, then they are lying to you. Steven Seagal shit, it's never worked before. Okay, so this one looks like a modification of a back body drop. Um, okay, cool. Like, pro wrestling, cool. Back body drop. Uh, usually the lift happens here over the shoulder and the guy jumps over. But this one, she puts her head right beneath the legs, which is not really a good idea. Um, because, I mean, put your leg in my front. Uh, put your head between my thighs, my man. Okay, because if he does this, right, like if anything, and he tries to grab my legs, sprawling exists. So, I mean, if you know how to sprawl and you know how to like dive that person's face into the ground, it's not a good idea. And, and never mind that. The fact is, um, stand up. Uh, if I actually have to lift them now, this is going to be very difficult. Alright, because it's putting a lot of pressure on my lower back, it's not very efficient. Get it! Whoop! So the next one that we're going to be doing is the uh, back body drop to, there's an elbow drop to the, the arm bar, okay? So we already discussed the back body drop. Not the most realistic thing. Elbow, very progressive. Very rasty. Okay, and then that, that arm bar. Um, the main problem with the arm bar is that um, you see it in the movies and you see it in, you know, self-defense uh, dudes videos. But the thing is like, it's not very controlling. Like, if you put your knee on somebody's face and you go for the armbar, you're not really guaranteed, you know, control. Um, I don't think she's got the, the, the knee on face there, but like the knee is like by the head and the one leg's over. I mean, that person can turn into you and then you've just lost the armbar. So trying to pull something like this off, I mean, uh, if it was legit, you would see it more in MMA, because you know, quick submissions are supposedly a thing. Okay, cool, so let's do it. You take him apart. Yep, yep. Come around, swoop over, and, and to just say what I mean here uh, about when you catch this, I mean, even if I just have a bit of knee here, it can suck, but if he turns into me, I've lost. 
that already that little bit of movement pushes my knee away. Cool. Uh, let's get to the next one. Down the wall. Deep touch. How about that? Down the wall. No, no, that's not a hip toss. No, no, no. Let's do it. Let's do it. Dude, it's some wrist lock throw thing. You can't give it a pro wrestling turn. It, I mean, you can just call it bullshit. Put it in my mind, just speak to it. <laughs> yeah, just so that you guys know, here he's only uh, playing pro wrestling. Uh, you all can't be human eyes, human hearts. I would say boxing and jiu-jitsu, not MMA. Boxing, MMA, it's for different parts of the sport. Six parts of the Okay, cool. So, First of all, you can do this control. And, and she's got a guide, why doesn't she take out the guide? But anyway, so she pulls, and from here, already getting the wrist lock while turning. Comes under, comes, puts pressure, and then. And it's questionable. It's questionable. I mean, this, to get that, I mean, honestly, like, could have just broken away here and punched me in the face. It's my brain and my soul. Okay. Ooh. On balance, comes around, hooks. We can do it a little bit better. Okay. Trip them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this. I wouldn't recommend this. It's like one of those self-defense videos. I've got his wrist. I'm threatening you. I was supposed to be the dangerous one, but he smacked me. Because you only have one end. You have ah! to fist with him. Oh, you have to fist with him. Don't have to Fucking, they say wrestling is fake. Okay, cool. Let's go to the next one. It's a headlock from behind that goes to a rolling knee bar. So, I mean, this is... Okay, this could work. This could work. Potential. Pretty simple, I mean, moves behind, grabs the head, key detail, of course, is always getting your hips lower, grabbing, rolling, and then, of course, she holds the head and still holds the knee bar. Ah. Okay, uh, let me just tap it, it hurts. It hurts. But the thing is, what I don't like is this grip is not very efficient. As soon as you, ooh, as soon as you just get both hands, on the knee ball, you can crank it a bit more. Uh, so the other thing about this, is just this from the top, like, like, I mean, just getting one arm here, I mean, so much can go wrong. There's not much control. And of course, um, he's also got potential to take me down, for instance. So if he comes to the side, grabs my head, for instance, and tries to put the one arm, the, the one leg over, and then starts reaching for my leg. There's nothing stopping me from dropping my hips, tripping, and going down. Um, it's not much room for control. Uh, but, I mean, if we take this idea, we could do it in something a bit more practical. If somebody's grabbed behind my waist, for instance, and I push down, and if the leg's there for me to take, I can roll for it. If he decides to roll completely over, or not, depending on what we get. But you get the point that I'm trying to uh, convey here. Keep it up. You can forget that we are too fat. Too fat. So next one, elbow to the body, and we've got that uh, that cross arm for oh. That's definitely the happy you know. I don't think I've even seen Ronda Rousey pull that one. Before. Definitely a one arm throw. I see so that doing that. Yeah, in WWE, but I mean. Not in WWE. Not in WWE. Okay, which is so. I don't for a couple of months. So, um, like, grabs, elbows, hooks the arm, and I mean, you can get a throw here. Okay, like, he's gonna follow. Alright, he's gonna be all fans. We've got this, and we can hook. You'll go with it. I mean, you want to go with it, right? Yeah, I don't want to Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, sure. But here's the main problem. The grips, okay? Break out. Break out. It's simple. I mean, you've got two hands on one arm, for instance. 
him pulling away, it's difficult. And I mean, of course, if he tries to pull, I can follow and move with him, right? But as soon as I've got something like this, it just takes as, as much as opening his hands and then moving towards the open side of the grip. Okay. There we go. It's easy. Open, boom. So by just adding this, I mean, he can just open his hands and then just pull away. Easy peasy. Uh, there's too much leeway, too much fight. Unless you're very good at grabbing people's wrists, sure, you need to have that mechanic uh, forearm strength. I'm not turning a spanner for over years to get this one. Well, I've got a mechanic to help you. That looks like a hammer lock to a dragon sleeper. A hammer lock being a type of shoulder lock. You'll see very often a wrestling or how uh, cops uh, restrain their, their, their perk, what's it there? Yes. Perk. Perk, no. The perk. Perk, perk. Perk. B or B. Or whatever, their suspect B or whatever. Cool, this is very controlling. Um, you see them wrestling a lot. And then the dragon sleeper, i.e. a reverse guillotine, um, i.e. crank your neck. Um, that, that, that one is, like legit, that one you can hurt somebody pretty bad. He's not the most well, well, the, the reverse guillotine, the hammer lock, uh, the, the way that you spin around to get it, it's not very practical. But anyway, so. Grab the wrist. I'm threatening you once oh again. My. Okay, I so was. spins around, gets it, and then from the same side goes. Boy. Okay, and I mean, if you recognize this, this is not good. That is, that is, that is bad for your neck, son. That is so bad for your neck. Ooh, so okay, let's so get us this. Okay, cool. Let's move to the next one. No, we're too Go. fat for that. You can forget yeah. it. We're too fat. I suppose he's done the work with it. Okay, this one is also very happy keto, I'm sure, or assassin art. Um, very ninja. Whoa, okay, so he takes me, leans me over his leg, and then elbows me to the chest. Yeah. Oh. I don't know why it's the chest. Um, that didn't feel like much. In fact, you know, like, just to strike somebody to get them down really relieves the pressure from the strike. I mean, if you just want, Yeah, like, if you just wanted, like, to hurt me, you should have just, like, went with, like, an over-arm elbow. And then just like smash my face and then drop with it or something. Yeah, the big shot your elbow is. Or just, or just throw them down and just start punching them in the face. I mean, like I'm down on the ground, he's right here on my side. He could literally just like bend over and punch me in the face now. Oh, you need that? You take your gun out. Okay. If you have a gun, use your gun. Explode a suplex. Explode a suplex. Okay. So I'm clear. I keep caught in your ears. Explode a suplex. So. Kick it! Kick it! Magic kick out the leg! Grab behind the neck! And then, of course, we lift and we spin. Whoa! Catch the leg like this. If you can catch the leg. Uh, if, we, if you watch a lot of UWF and Pank Race, there were some leg catches, but nothing like this. Let's show you the world of Tekken. Kicking! I'm going to kick you. Push it away. Grab the waist. Trip. Grab the arm. Punch. Boom. Just like one of those cock TikTok self defense videos. I'll edit it in right here, right now. Oh to an arm bar. This one's pretty legit. But catching an arm like that from a strike is questionable. Like doing it from a clinch, it's going to be easier. So what she does is she grabs the arm to throw an elbow strike. Um, thing is, like if you pull like this, oh, I mean, there's still that possibility of risk getting away. Right? If you want absolute control, 
So doing it off a pitch or whatever, we can actually control the person better. We can use the legs to drive and control the body. You know, that's going to probably be a bit better. But anyway, so hold, oh, elbow. We go under. All right. So just for realistic purposes, always make sure that you can get your hand deep in to prevent a choke. Okay. Because I mean, if I do this and I lose the grip, okay. anyway, so it's deep in there to prevent the choke, and of course, hips lower. Okay, and from here, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna push with my butt and pull them over to get them. More. I push with my butt to get them off balance. All right, my hips is lower than in, and then by getting them off balance, I can do the choke. Oh, oh. I bring the the leg over, okay, his head, I sit on him, I go down, and this I can pin, sorry, you good, okay, so this way, this is controlling the body, this is controlling the head, I'm getting my foot here as close to my butt as possible, and this one here is keeping control, so he can't turn into me, and he can't turn away from me, cool, we did a, a video previously, on how to do the cross face for pro wrestling and then of course uh, I add some insight on how to make it a legitimate uh, submission hole. Cool, so uh, it was that boom, oh, I was from the grab, right? Grab, boom, boom, grab here and wait, it was like so, right? Crank. And then of course drop, pull, and then the cross face. Okay, cool. We're not check the previous video about uh, more inside Tickets. about the cross about the cross face. Check the description. This one, like, yeah, it can. I mean, if you have control there, the shoulder like that, and you drop on them, uh, or just move forward to keep them off balance, they can fall on the face. So this one can have some legitimacy. But I mean, if that other person is, you know, schooled and strong, I mean, you're going to struggle doing that type of takedown for that. But if it, it can be done. Yeah, no. Cool. This rollover I like. I, I use this one quite often in gi to do the bow and arrow choke. But this is interesting because she finishes now with a arm bar, a knee bar type of vibe. So uh, we're going to give this a go. Grab the wrist! Strike to the body! Knee! Crank! Ah. Bring him down, he's on the force. Okay, so from here, leg over. Grab! Control! Bring leg over for control and crunch. Ooh, wow. Does that yeah, you feel the arm, not the leg, right? You have a slip on his arm, boy. Kick the chin. Oh. Get in the rhythm there. Keep it tight. Come over. And for some reason, just relax and pull. Crawl over. Keep this. Yeah, that last one is a bit questionable. But anyway, let's move forward! That, that, that makes more sense. This one makes more sense if you can get it right. Because I mean, if somebody's going to resist this, maybe they are going to go into all fours. I mean, uh, it would be kind of silly. This way, this way around, right? Grab the wrist because it's threatening. Keep oh. the shit. Get it in the crevice. Lock. Ah. Submission. For some reason he just falls onto all fours. Get the leg over. Oh. Oh. Leg overhead. Pinching. And down we go. Three tacks. Yeah. I could have done it. Okay, cool. So, kicks to the shin. This is the standing foot you want to arm bar. Comes over. Gets in the bow. But that one, that just looks like you gave the arm. Who would do that? Anyway. A 
Damascus route. Whatever you do in a fight, do not give somebody your arm. Give me your arm so I can demonstrate the technique. Feel free, sir. Okay, cool. Now, what's the Fuji standing for you on an arm box? Connect nicely, so it's just going to create pressure. All right, because they're standing and there's a lot of leeway, I would have to drop to get this going, to be honest. And then steps over, and then just grab the oh. arm. Okay, that one does that. Extra points for farting on the head. Okay, so for the Fujiwara armbar, just dropping them. That will be, this will, this can work. And I mean, if you watch Pancrase, you, you should recognize this. It's, you must have seen it before. So, grab, kick, break, and then of course, I just drop. He will want to go down with me when I drop. And now because he's flat on his belly, and there's no leeway for his shoulder to move if I go, Okay, that will get the submission. That one's, that one's a bit possible. That one is quite possible. Uh, I question the setup though, to it, but yeah. Well, fancy assassin arts stuff for movies. Uh, I think the rope might have covered my face there for a moment, but I don't care. That looks like a scissor tape down and then into, a, into an arm bar. So this one's actually kind of dangerous. Do it full speed because it's better. Awesome. Okay, so how this happens is we grab behind the head, we jump, we pinch with the legs above the waist, and that my my weight is gonna roll him forward, and I'm gonna use that momentum to roll him over and get him into the arm. Okay? So boom! Whoop! Just lock it like this. Okay. Okay, so the next one's with the leg lock, so it goes straight backwards. No. And then we go to the, we go backwards instead of rolling forwards, and then we go for the straight ankle lock. Those hooks are fucking terrible. Uh, okay, the previous one, this leg was in the front, this one's going to come into the front, and this one behind. Okay, uh, so this is going to make him fall backwards, okay, and we're going to use that to set up the leg lock. And once again, those, those, that. The control aspect of this leg lock is pretty disgusting. No, no, no. Um, but, I mean, it can work. It worked in Pancrase. I mean, if you watch Ken Shamrock fight in Pancrase, they, those heel hooks are disgusting. But his uh, leg entanglement for control was also uh, not great. But hey, he, brought, he smashed people's knees. So, what was the impact of the region? Yeah. So, so I, I jump. Whoop! Okay. Shift back and then get the get the straight ankle lock. So when we get the straight ankle lock, so it's a deep in. Oh my. Well, I'm on guard, I'm on guard. Ooh. And that one's already locked in. You can get that uh, thumb to stab your own chin. Hold, lean back, you're gonna snap an ankle. So the next one, she does it again. Straight ankle lock. You see she does it with one hand and then she does a spinning knee bar. Spinning knee bar. Okay. We set up the, the, the scissor takedown. This leg comes in front, this one comes behind, and we go. go. Just like you know, with his one hand. Ah, ooh, okay, that's the cool. So now it comes to the spinning knee bar. So we need to get up, he's control, slide over, and finish. Whoa. Sweet! That's what I said, it's just awesome. It's much more. Good job, good job. Yeah, it is, yeah, but like those leg lock, those scissor takedowns and those leg locks are legit. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, uh, like, just watch some, uh, like some sambo and you'll see what we're talking about. And like, I mean, if you just uh, YouTube it and find like scissor takedowns and by the bang, you're gonna see some people's like legs snapping just on the takedown. It is gross. Okay. Okay, so um, this is also kind of legit. I say kind of. Um, I mean, you can do a figure four leg lock if you know how to do it properly. It is very well. But I mean, with the leg entanglement, getting the leg over like that might be difficult. All right, so we're gonna do this one slightly. Special knee. 
Um, so we, 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 we do the sit down. We do a straight leg lock. I always prefer getting it deep in. Okay. Reaches for the other leg, comes over, hooks it, okay, and uses this to turn them over. Okay. Now, when we're in this position, okay? Ooh, Same nice. with the straight ankle lock, you want to get the bone on bone. So when you lean in, it is very painful. It is not nice. So literally, bone on bone. Okay. Ooh, rage on. Okay, cool. So we are not going to do that yeah. because we're too fat and we can't pull off that very Mysterio crap. And then you see uh, the finish there. It's just an arm bar. Um, we can actually go through the finish part. The finish, she has the arm and she has um, you're on your knees, eh? Okay, so she has the, the things hooked here. So it's not really a triangle, but she's got the arm. Alright? For her to have the triangle, it just requires a bit more tightness around the head. Okay, so it's an arm bar at the end, uh, but obviously can set up to the triangle track. Okay guys, uh, thank you very much for making it through to the end of the video. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button, uh, it would be much appreciated. It helps us and we would like to do more of these type of videos. If you have any recommendations, please let us know in the comment section below. Yes, comments, down below. No, the little words at the bottom. Yeah, write words, use characters. Let's do it. I want to do more, uh, in more detail like this. I know this video is a bit more loose in comparison to my previous videos, but uh, I just thought it would be interesting just to kind of go through the, the breakdowns bit by bit and actually do the moves bit by bit. Alright, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers, buddies.